हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विद विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे आवर स्टडी टॉपिक इज इवेपोरेशन ट्रांसपेरेशन एंड इवेपो ट्रांसपेरेशन बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय एम एस सी कल्चर विद स्पेशलाइज इन इकोनॉमी फ्रॉम जेबी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंतनगर एंड प्रेजेंटली वर्किंग इन वन ऑफ द एम एन सी एज ए सीड प्रोफेशनल इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी हैव कवर्ड द वेरियस टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू इवेपोरेशन ट्रांसपेरेशन एंड इवेपो ट्रांसपेरेशन which is playing one of the important role in water cycle and precipitation so let's proceed to the presentation now we will discuss about evaporation the change of a state of water from solid and liquid to the vapor and its diffusion into the atmosphere is referred to as evaporation in agricultural meteorology evaporation is defined as the maximum possible loss of moisture from a wet horizontal flat surface exposed to weather parameters which exists in the vicinity of plants evaporation is an important process of hydrologic cycle the evaporation from the soil is an important factor deciding the irrigation water requirements of a crop in modifying the microclimate of a crop the evaporation from the soil is an important factor factors affecting evaporation the evaporation from a fully exposed water surface is the function of several environmental factors there are factors which are affecting the evaporation can be classified in two categories first one you are environmental factors and second is water factors so now we will study one by one for about the both first one is environmental factors in which first one is water temperature with an increase of temperature the kinetic energy of water molecules increases and surface tension decreases which increases evaporation second is wind the evaporation from fully exposed surface is directly proportional to the velocity of wind and vice versa because dry wind replaces the moist air near water the process of evaporation takes place continuously when there is a supply of energy to provide latent heat of evaporation which is nearly 540 calories per gram of water now relative humidity the evaporation is greater at low relative humidity than at high relative humidity pressure the evaporation is more at low pressure and less at high pressure second is water factors in which we will discuss about composition of water the dissolved salts and other impurities decreases the rate of evaporation the evaporation is inversely proportional to the salinity of water second is area of evaporation the larger the area of exposure greater will be the evaporation those affecting water supply at the evaporating surface like soil and plants including soil storage capacity rainfall and irrigation and those affecting energy supply to the evaporating surface like solar radiation now to discuss transpiration most of the water absorbed by plants is lost to the atmosphere this loss of water from living plant is called transpiration it can be stomatal cuticular or lenticular it plays an important role in dissipation of radiant energy by plant parts translocation of water in the plants and translocation of minerals in the plant now to discuss factors affecting transpiration first one is environmental factors in which light by directly opening and closing of the stomata there is periodically in the transpiration rate indirectly by increasing the temperature of leaf cells the transpiration is increased second is atmospheric humidity the rate of transpiration is almost inversely proportional to atmospheric humidity air temperature increase in temperature results in opening of stomata which in turn increases transpiration wind velocity the higher the wind speed higher the transpiration now we will discuss about plant factors first one is plant height water needs of crop varies with height leaf characteristics reduction in leaf area brings reduction in transpiration availability of water to the plant if there is little water in the soil the tendency for dehydration of leaf causes a stomatal closure and a consequent fall in transpiration here to discuss evapotranspiration evapotranspiration denotes the quantity of water transpired by plants plus moisture evaporated from the surface of the soil 
as long as the rate of root uptake of soil moisture balances the water losses from the canopy evapotranspiration continues to occur at its potential rate when the rate of root water uptake falls below the transpiration demand actual transpiration begins to fall below the potential rate this is either because of soil cannot supply water to roots quickly or the plants can no longer ex extract water to meet the evaporation demand reference evapotranspiration this represents the maximum rate of evapotranspiration from an extended surface of 8 to 10 cm tall green grass cover actually growing and completely shading the ground under limited supply of water potential evapotranspiration potential evapotranspiration for any crop is obtained from reference evapotranspiration and crop factors when water supply is unlimited evapotranspiration is also called water use or consumptive use the factors influencing evapotranspiration are climatic and management practices where we have shown the water cycle where evaporation and transpiration are playing very very important role in cloud formation then rain clouds and precipitation or rainfall so these are the crucial factors for rainfall in any regions in this slide we have shown the importance of evapotranspiration and potential evapotranspiration first one is estimation of the soil moisture thereby planning irrigation schedule of crops understanding the relationship between the crop yield and irrigation water guiding for the production of a crop with a fully developed canopy the evapotranspiration can also help to demarcate soil climatic zones including the drought prone areas this will form the base for developing suitable soil and crop management practices selecting crop varieties water conservation techniques cropping pattern and ways to improve productivity of rain fed crops here to discuss factors affecting evapotranspiration first one is those factors affecting water supply like soil water storage capacity rainfall and irrigation second is those factors affecting energy supply third is light fourth is temperature fifth is relative humidity sixth is wind velocity and seventh plant characteristics like root shoot ratio leaf characteristics and thick cuticle so all these factors which are closely related to evapotranspiration this was all about the topic evaporation transpiration and evapotranspiration hope this presentation will be very very useful to all of you thank you very much for your kind attention i have shown here my youtube channel details journey with vijay kumar srivastava link is given having request please proceed to the channel subscribe it and provide your valuable and kind feedback for further improvements in my next coming presentations thank you very much